love me. Do you want me? What's up? What's up? How y'all feeling today? You know, it's your girl, the original Barbie, back with another podcast on OB's Well, You know, we new to this and true to this. Huh, okay. So, just make sure that y'all go ahead and subscribe before I even get into this video. I need y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I need y'all go ahead and tune in, follow Apple Music, everything, all that, okay? And then I also need y'all to tune in to the new song that I'm about to drop real, real soon. Hop on that challenge, $250 for the best TikTok or reel that y'all put out on this song. You know, I gotta have a little have a little contest because I got to see how y'all hips move, you feel me? But anyways, so today is going to be a real interesting topic, but you know with me, every every topic is real interesting. But today, you know, we're going to start taking account accountability, you feel me? And we don't do that a lot, but today we're going to do that. And I'm going to do that today with my special guest. Everybody, I want to introduce Nia Michelle, you feel me? She's one of my closest friends. She does hair, so get at her for the hair. She does some real nice little locks and everything. You know, I got to hit her up for the locks. You're going to see a different look real soon, but stop playing. But go ahead and clap her in. <laughs> What's up? Hello. What's up? <laughs> so, before we hey. get into this topic, go ahead and tell the people about yourself. Tell them what you want them to know about you, what you want them to tune into. Well, first of all, I'm Nia. I go by Nia Michelle. Um, I do hair. I do locks. I offer lock services. So, y'all can check me out at Nia.M-I-C-H-E-L-E-E -E -E on Instagram. Yeah. So she basically just go ahead and get y'all a little rant through. Oh, she does ponytails too. You know, she was supposed to do mine for oh, my and baby child. And, you know, and I'm, I'm model too. I forgot to say that. She does model. She model for my company as well. So just get at her if you yes. need her for anything. You feel me? Because we all do it all around here. We don't, we jack all trades. You feel me? But. So, today is going to be a real interesting topic. Like I said, we taking accountability today, you feel me? Like, you know, I feel like a lot of us don't do that. We don't take responsibility of when we be wrong sometimes. And friendships, uh -huh. relationships, family feuds, all of that. Everybody can always be quick to point the finger at everybody else but ourselves. Because, you know, we be doing some things that be triggering people. So, we got to, you know, today is going to to be that day where we all take accountability so i want to know biggest question that i'm going to ask today and i want to ask actually this is probably the only question i'm going to ask because i want to get into depth with this but without blaming your ex and i want you to give me both scenarios without blaming your ex or without blaming uh an ex friendship is that an ex-friendship? Yeah, that's how you would say it. An ex-friend. Without blaming an ex or an ex-friend, what should you have done better in that relationship or that friendship? Where can you say, all right, I could have done things differently instead of doing things like that? Um... So do you want me to like use an example? Like, how you want me to do yeah, it? Yeah, just... Or you just want me to go for a okay. I want you to... First, all right, first what we're going to do is is we're going to take accountability, uh, accountability first for what you did. And then you can tell us the reason why you left that scenario. Okay, so we can start with the friendship. We can start off with friendships. So um, there was a time um, I had a friend. And I wasn't there for her like I should have been. And I'm taking, I've like, after doing a lot of self reflection on that whole situation that went on when it went, I noticed that I could have been a better friend to her back in those times when we were friends. And now, when you say better friend, what you mean by better friend? Like, give me detail. Like, tell me where you was lacking at as a friend. Because, you know, your definition of friendship may be different from somebody else's definition of friendship. Absolutely, absolutely. So, like, I was, okay, so when I say I wasn't there for her, I'm not going to say I wasn't, like, there for her as a friend and things like that, but in some contexts, I wasn't. When it came to 
us being outside and us being around certain people, it was just like, I chose those certain people over her. Mm-hmm. You know, and as a female, as a woman, and as a friend, I was being wrong for that. Mm-hmm. Because it was like, things that I wouldn't have went on, went for with myself, that I allowed to go on with her. Yeah. And instead of being a friend to her in that situation, mm-hmm. I kind of, I wouldn't say I sided with the other people, but it made it seem as though that I did because I wanted to stay neutral in the situation. But then on top of that, with the situation that went on, I'm going to say this. We had a really drunk night. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember anything from that night. Hold on real quick. Your music is over top for you again. Okay. I was saying that I had a really drunk night. Mm-hmm. And I really don't remember much from that night. Mm-hmm. But instead of taking her word and comforting her more with that word, I kind of fished for more answers from other people. You know, and I didn't, I didn't pay more attention to the situation at hand mm-hmm. with her when I should have. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that kind of tarnished our friendship and everything. And at first, I didn't understand why. Why I didn't understand why. I, she felt the way she felt about the situation and everything because it was just like i still don't know what happened you know and with me not knowing what happened and me knowing both parties in that situation it was kind of like what do i do mm-hmm. but now looking back at it it's just like i was there wrong i was there wrong because if it was me on the other hand or me on the other, or the shoe on the other foot I would have wanted my friend there with me. I would have wanted my friend there with me. I would have wanted my friend to comfort me more than than I did instead of kind of, like I comforted her, but I kind of brushed it off at the same time. Yeah. I didn't take it as serious as it was. Yeah. Because at the time I didn't know it was as serious as it was. You feel know I me? Mean? But, yeah, I, now I'm looking back at it, like I definitely should have. I should have been there only for for what I was. And being a person I am as a friend that I am, I knew that was wrong with me. Because all of my friends know I'm always there. And, I, and it don't matter what you do, right or wrong, you can vouch, I'm always gonna I'm always gonna stick beside you. Regardless. And in that moment, I was dead wrong. Dead wrong. And I know that. I can kind of lost the question. <laughs> You're fine. So, as far as me, I feel like my friendships, I have a tendency, like, and this goes for all my friendships. Like, I can't even say this is, like, one specific friendship. But I feel like the the main reason why I can't hold on to friendships for too long is because I get tired of people quick. I get tired of people too quick. And that's not just friendship, that's relationship too. Like you do I'm 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 being on you do one thing wrong, I'm yeah, you you gotta hit the door. Like I, I'm like uh when it comes down yeah. to friendships, when it comes down to friendships, like relationships, I'm different. But when it comes down to friendships, because of the simple fact that I'm dealing with females, I just be like, bro, we the same gender. You should you should know what there is that you can do and what there is that you can't. Like it's different. I'm not gonna say it's different for a guy, but I feel like it's different for a guy. Like if a guy does me wrong, it's because he's a guy. But you're a female and you doing me wrong. Like come on now, there gotta be some more loyalty to our like the same gender like come on now like that's crazy to me but i feel as though with females i have less patience because it'd be too much extra stuff with females like Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. i'm not gonna say is everybody else because you know i do it too like what you're not gonna like i feel like as far as like retaliation wise that's my downfall like I sit there and my retaliation is way too strong for the situation mm-hmm. and I handle every situation like that. Like that's just me. I'm over the top. Like I feel like if you do me wrong, I I'm big on my respect. If you do me wrong yeah. or you disrespect me, I got ways about me that either if you're going to be around, I'm going to do things so that way you don't want to be around me no more or I'm going to make it known mm-hmm. like 
I'm rude. I'm real rude. I'm not going to. I would sit inside of a room with a bunch of females and there's one. It could be one female in there that I don't like and everybody knows that I don't like, but they tend to invite her anyway. And I'm big on like, and why are you here? Like, and I will say that out loud. I'm rude. I'm disrespectful. I don't. When it comes down to me, I have a short temper and I don't like dealing with and everybody will sit there and ask me, so what happened? Like what she do? She crossed me. Like and they be like, Oh, well did you talk about the situation afterwards? No, what the fuck is there to talk about? Why do I need to talk to her? After you cross me, like we're females, like I said, if I was to do the same thing to you, I would never first of all, I would never do the same thing to you. But right. if the shoe was on the other foot, I will understand why you wouldn't want to talk to me no more because it takes a lot yeah. for me to feel disrespected. And if I ever get to the point where I feel disrespected, oh, I'm going to do the most. I'm going to do the most. Uh, you said what? Why are you here? Mm-hmm. So you're going to well, continue to that. be here? All right, so I'm going to just go I'm, ahead and dip because it's either me or you because I'm not, no, we don't know. I feel like with that, I can try, I can kind of relate to that and everything in, in ways, but I feel like anybody that knows that I don't like them, they're not gonna want to be around me at all. Cause my mouth is ruthless. It's a little. But ruthless. some females and aren't like that. They like drama. They like being messy. They will specifically ask if you'll be there just so that they can I'm show up and be like be yeah me. so what you say like how you feeling like what you trying to be on type thing or they'll size you up while you around it's, they may not say nothing it's a difference it's a difference i guess it's a difference on a person on a person as to who you are because yeah. i'm gonna just say it like this anybody that i don't like they're gonna know that i don't like them they're gonna know that they're not gonna want to be around because i'm gonna make it uncomfortable when they're around me and i ain't gotta say nothing i don't got x y p or nothing like that it's just my whole demeanor. Oh, that's me. Go about. I'm sorry. You feel me? I'm it's my whole demeanor. So I don't even have to say anything. You're already not going to want to be there because I'm going to be there. Or I'm just gonna, not going to put myself in a situation where I know that somebody's going to be there. Because I know with me, if I don't like you, I can't sit around you. It's going it's gonna to go left. But this is the it's thing with me. Left. I just need... Like, I'm big on... If you know I don't like you, don't sit up there and keep staring at me. Don't sit up there and, like... Anytime I can sit there and you, anybody can say this. Like, honestly, if you sitting up there and somebody like lean over to their friend and go ahead, that, 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 like, I'm going to feel like you talking about me. And at that moment, I'm going to get disrespectful. And I'm going to be like, so why are you here? Do you want to say what you just said out loud to everybody in the group? Because I feel but like you, you throwing shade. But we got me. a problem. I'm going to start you. I'm going to uh, I'm going to start you. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something to my home girl. I'm going to mind my business. You. And once you ask me what, what I said, I'm going to tell you what I said. But I just feel like blurring out a wire here and all that. That's oh, all like, for in certain situations. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, like, I'm disrespectful. Okay, you don't like the person and things like that. Just your whole, just your whole demeanor at that, at that point. You know you're that bitch, so you ain't got to say, oh, why you're here. Be that bitch in that, in that moment. Oh, no. I'm going to start you. I'm going to let you know that I'm here. I mean, See. you, you ain't going to go. This is where, this is, this is, this I is another topic. I like you to be in the same this, vicinity as people. This is another topic because something that we don't pay attention to, something that we don't recognize is that it'd be so funny because of the simple fact that you got girls who will act like me in situations like that and everybody want to point the finger at me and say, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, uh, it's that screen recording. Somebody call me. Mm-hmm. Hold on one second. Do you like me? Do you love me? Do you want me? Okay. So you got females that's like me, and you know everybody want to point the finger at me, talking about, oh, you shouldn't have done that. Why you do that, girl, like that? Okay, so we gonna sit up here and get upset at me for retaliating to the disrespect that was given off to me like we're not gonna we're not gonna engage in the disrespect itself we're gonna engage on my reaction they're like yeah but you so much better than that like you could be better you could turn the other cheek like no it's i can't be better you want to know why because it's just me that's just me it's not taking me out my character it's not being a different person that is me like Right, you're not gonna sit up there and oh, 
you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have. No, if you're staring at me, we got a problem. I'm going to, regardless of how I react to you or regardless of how I look at it, at the end of the day, I'm still going to walk away that bitch, regardless of whether or not I decide to leave or you or I make you leave. At the end of the day, I'm still going to be that bitch, but I'm going to definitely make you feel uncomfortable. So why are you here? Do you want to say what you said to the oh. to her, to the whole group? Like, do we got a problem? Do we need to take this outside? Do we need to handle this? Like, I'm not going to sit there. I, you disrespected. Like, situations, you can have a conversation. Yeah. Like, you asked you ask about it. Oh, yeah, we can have a, we can definitely have a conversation about it. Because now, now, that's, now that's that time for us to have the conversation. But I don't yeah. feel like you ask it. Oh, why are you here? Is you being out of content or anything like that? That's you speaking your mind. You want to know. Why are you here? Because I've done it. Yeah, why I'm not? Why am I, I, I going to gonna sit there? I ask people, oh, why are you with her? Right, well, why am I gonna sit there and, and now now it's time for us to have this conversation. Now it's time, now it's my time to speak because I didn't open up that floor for us to for me to get some things off my chest because I don't like you. Right. But yeah, I definitely get it. I definitely get it. That's not you going that's you showing who you are. When somebody pissed you off. Right, true colors. I'm gonna, like, listen, I'm a very humble person. If they can sit up there and tell me, oh, yeah, this person's gonna be here, okay. But I'm just gonna let you know if she get out of character or she decide to do something, a little yeah. two-step to the left, we, <laughs> I'm gonna two-step to the right and I'm gonna walk forward because yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that. Right. Don't, don't come in an environment like. First of all, you probably, right. you probably one of those females who's like, oh, is she gonna be there? Yeah, she gonna be there. All right, I'm gonna pop out and just act the ass just because. Like, no, no, because yeah, that's right. not, that's not me. And well, you're not gonna like act that. like that. Yeah. And you're not gonna be like that. And you're not finna carry yeah. me like that because I'm gonna let you know yeah, one thing absolutely. and one thing only. I will make you get up and walk out without even putting hands on you. I will I will make you cry, little girl. Like, don't play with me. <laughs> I will make you cry our business all out there. Like, stop playing with me. <laughs> you said what? Okay, so no, we that's gonna... far. No, no, no. I'm not no, talking about far. I'm not talking about her business. I'm talking about the business okay. of why we stopped being friends. Like, oh, so you want to sit up? Okay, so okay. Who? Oh, you oh, know, yeah. I'm I'm that friend. Listen, this is this is the thing about me. I'm that friend that everybody will come to me and ask me like, what happened? What happened? And I won't say nothing. Like that's not my business to say nothing. I don't care. It's over with. It's said and done with. It ain't nothing. Me talking about it ain't gonna change it. You feel me? So I'm not the friend that sit up there and dwell on her like, oh, she did. No, I'm not gonna sit up there and run my mouth to everybody. And now that you sitting up here there and being disrespectful in front of everybody after you i feel like you already didn't ring your mouth to everybody and told them about the situation but told them what you wanted to tell them oh baby girl i'm gonna lay it out on the table so we not gonna sit up here and act like you ain't do this and you ain't do that and that's why we not friends oh okay cool hmm all right right absolutely but as far as relationships lord i feel like now this 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 one right, right. <laughs> This is a topic. Listen, this is this is something that that a lot of people don't hit on, and we need to hit on this because it's not just what you could have done in the relationship to make the relationship work. It's what you could have done to save yourself from a relationship too. Like I feel like a lot of people don't hit on this, and as far as like everybody's an ex for a reason. You feel me? Like everybody is an ex for a reason. And all the exes that I've been with, I've done I've done the dumping. Like I've never been dumped. Not never in my life been dumped. Not going to say that that's like a you know, like a good thing on my end because you probably I probably need to feel that one day, but I've never felt that okay, feeling. When you do, when you do, you going to feel it. <laughs> I've never, I've never, but if you want to know what's crazy to me, when I was in a relationship with somebody cheating on me, I felt like I got dumped. You feel me? Like, yeah, I felt that absolutely. feeling, that pit in my stomach made me feel like I got dumped. But I was just the one who initiated leaving the relationship. But, so, I guess you could say, in a way, I have got dumped. Because once you cheat on me, bro, at that point, I feel like you just don't want this relationship no more. So, that's basically you breaking mm -hmm. up with me. So, yeah. So, within the uh, relationship side of things, I feel like in the past, if I would have known what I held, like the power behind being who I am 
and what I bring to the table and my self-confidence and who I am in general and how strong I am about things that I can handle, I feel like I would have saved myself from so much hurt. I feel like I would have saved myself from so much hurt. And I mean, a lot of people that's watching this, y'all probably watched the Divorce Court episode. And y'all know what I went through in just that relationship. It was relationships prior to that that was even worse. Like, even worse. So, it's like, if I would have known how much I know about myself now, then... I feel like I would have saved myself from so much pain, bro. I can definitely agree. I can definitely agree with that. So much pain. For sure. I feel like not not even not even with just me, the other person too. Because mm-hmm. when I get in a relationship and I feel like the relationship dead, one thing about me that I hate so 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 much is that I try to hold on to the relationship because I think somebody is gonna get better. I feel like things are going to change. I feel like that that person just needs some time to grow. I try to give people the benefit of the doubt and I hold on to a relationship for too long when I knew I should have just let it go. But yes. it's like I'll keep holding on, holding on, holding on and they'll keep disappointing me over and over and over again to the point where I get emotionless. You're doing nothing but disappointing yourself. Right. I get so... Really? At the end of the day, you're losing yourself. It's important for right. you to lose yourself in any relationship. And, and I feel like that's where a lot of us mess up at. We don't know right. ourselves in relationships. And we don't know when to say it's time to let go. Like, no. that is the... And it could be that way for men. Uh, men and it can be that way for female because it's not just a female aspect. Like, I know men who go through that same situation. There's good guys out here for real. But we... It's so hard to grasp that concept because especially when you were like, you're full of love. You're full of that. I want to give. I want to give all my love. I can't hold this love in or... A num- another number one thing a lot of people can't do is learn to be happy with themselves before hopping into a relationship. Yes. Like, they haven't learned how to be alone yet. Like, Absolutely. you can't be with someone if you can't be alone. And I feel like a lot of people lack that too. And I'm not going to say it wasn't me at one point because it definitely was me. I can definitely be okay with being alone now, 100%. I'd be, not to say it like this, but I'd be happy if I was alone. You know, it's less stress. It's less you have to worry about. You don't have to be considerate about nobody else's feelings but yourself. You're able to be selfish. And that's what time alone with yourself gives you. It gives you that time to be selfish, to learn what you want out of life so that way you can learn, so you can teach someone else that you're with what you like and what you want in life because i feel like the number one thing a lot of relationships are missing is everybody's like you know like i said in the other podcast everybody's like oh i'm not raising somebody else's son i'm not teaching them how to do this i'm not teaching them how to do that like you can't say that because some guys out here don't have male like male figures it's like some some guys are like the opposite like they have their dad but they don't have that female figure around or they don't have Mm -hmm. it's opposite they don't have that male figure around so they've never seen how a man should treat their mom i mean how a man um, treated their mom or their sisters in a relationship and stuff like that they've never had that female presence around them so sometimes you have to teach these guys how to treat you I feel like that's the only way a relationship can work is if you teach each other how you want to be treated. Like, if you know that you're big on communication, look, I'm big on communication. If you want to do this, 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 and this, I don't care as long as you talk to me. Just come talk to me. I don't like when a female does this. I don't like when a guy does this. I want my freedom on certain occasions, and I know you want your freedom on certain occasions, so can we work something out where we both get that freedom at times, but we also spend time together? You feel me? You have to tell them what you want. That's easy to say. That's easy to say, but we can all say these things. We can all lay everything out on the table and let you know exactly what we want or how we want to be treated or how we were treated in the past or the things we are afraid of, 
and still will agree, okay, I'm going to work with you on these things. I'm going to work with you through all your flaws and all of that. But then once you're in that relationship, you lose all that patience and go out. Certain people do. You now, know, let me tell you, you to say that. Let me tell you with that a lot though. Of patience to teach. With and a lot of people don't have a lot of patience to grow together. Now this with and that's that why is it's important for you to know yourself. What that is is if a person doesn't show you that step by step that they're working on what you listed on how you want to be treated. Like if you don't see improvement throughout the relationship, then that's you holding on to something that you know you should have let go of the moment that he showed you otherwise. Like there should never be a room there should never be room for excuse. Once you establish all that in the beginning of a relationship, like, I, this is how I want to be treated. This is how things going to go. Bop, 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 bop. If things don't start changing, if things don't start evolving, like, I give it, I say, like, a month. If things don't start changing within that time frame, that, a you, month? you, yeah, a month. <laughs> and you want to know why I say a month? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This is my biggest thing, and I hate when people be looking at me like I'm crazy when I say this. How old was your mom when she had you? Your mom, no. Okay, for example, my mother had me when she was 19. My father was 21. And they had been together. My, my people's playing me. Like, my dad went to my mom. I want you to have my kid. That was his first kid. My mom already had two kids before me. They've been in elementary school together, everything, until my mom dropped out. My dad came around, started helping her. They got into a relationship since they was 19 years old. My mom and dad got married after having my youngest brother, which was, like, in 2000 and, what, like, four. They got married. 2004, they got married. And... They were together for the longest, going through the motions, being together, got married, happy as I don't know what in my eyes. And then when I turned out to be like, what, 20, 20 years, 20, 21? No, I was 21. 21 years old, they got a divorce. Mm. You cannot put a timestamp on love, bro. There is no timestamp on love. I hate when people look at me and like, Oh, we need to take our time. Yes, take your time. But I and I hate I hate this quote so much. We're just talking. There is no just talking, bro. There is no talking stage. You have to date somebody to know somebody. You cannot, mm -hmm. you will not know anybody until you're dating that person. There is no talking stage. There's no in between from friends to dating. There is no in-between time. I met you. I'm interested in you. Let's go on a date. What is that? You're dating. There is no, I'm talking to this person. If I, listen, let me tell you something, motherfucker. <laughs> if I'm paying for your meal when we go on this date, <laughs> when we go out and I'm paying for everything, we're dating. <laughs> if I'm spending my hard-earned money on you, taking you out, we're dating, okay? <laughs> there is no in between. Oh, I'm just talking to this person that you go out two days later with somebody else. Boy, you got me bent, backwards, folded, all that. But, but when you are in the dating Oh, give me a but. You are allowed to date other people. You are. When you're just dating. Excuse and you me. And that you are in that relationship. Excuse me. You are allowed to date other people. You're crazy. Excuse me. Listen. Excuse me. No. When you are in so the basically, you are so basically, listen, listen, listen. So listen, 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 listen. This is this old, old, old girl. Cause listen, if I was a nigga and you told you can't, I just took you on this expensive ass date two days before, and you call me up and say, 
Oh yeah, I'm going on a date, but 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 you probably wouldn't even tell me. First of all, if you'd be considerate enough to tell me, okay, maybe I'll look at it differently. But if I find out by one of my friends and my homeboy, I watch her story, you out on a date with somebody else after I just paid for this expensive date for you, and I'm interested in you, and I showed you that kind of love, and you go out on a date with somebody else, boy, we fighting. Nigger or not, we're fighting. Did, we're you're fighting. Crazy. Did you establish that you are in a relationship with this person, though? Did if you you're that you were dating, if you're dating, listen, listen, listen. Dating this is what this is. This is what people do not understand. Dating is dating. Dating is dating. Dating. You're dating. You're, dating. you're allowed to date. Dating. You're allowed to date. If that person does not ask you to be his girlfriend or her boyfriend. You are allowed to date other That's people. A good point. Listen, are. listen. I am not saying that there isn't no this like there isn't no distinction from dating to a relationship. I am not saying that that's not the case. But if I'm if I'm doing all of it, if if let's do it like let's say it like this. If that's gonna be the case, tell me that up front. Tell me that up front because if that's how you feel about dating, this is why this is why it's important to ask questions when you go out when you're talking to somebody when you're dating somebody this is it's 100 important for that because of the simple fact that i feel as though if you're loyal to me in the dating stage you're going to be loyal to me in a relationship stage that's just how i feel if you feel it's necessary to see other people obviously you're not that interested in me am i wrong your options Am I wrong though? Bring your options. Am I, I mean, wrong? As a man, as a man, listen, listen, listen. As a man, speedy, <laughs> hold up. As a man, could you see what I'm trying to like? I'm fighting for the men right now. You feel me? As as I'm saying where right, you coming from? as I'm saying right now, it's like it's like. If I'm, if you, it's, it's basically like a relationship. If you can cheat on, it's basically like a relationship. If you can cheat on me while we're together, obviously you weren't that interested in me. And if we're dating and you're not letting me know ahead of time, like, all right, yeah, I want to, I'm interested in you, but I do want to like, you know, keep my options open type thing. If you go out and I see you want to date with somebody else. After I'm thinking shit just went so good with our date, you know, like we on good communication and I see you out on a date with somebody else. What what am I going to think? That you're not that interested. I'm in dating. Yeah. I'm dating. Of course, I'm still, I'm still interested. I'm definitely interested in you. But if I'm weighing my options and I choose to go on another date with somebody else, that's my choice. I never was established that I'm no, in a sir. relationship. No, sir. I can't. Crazy. I, I can't. I agree with both of y'all. It's just a, it's all about how you think. Cause it's all about how you understand. Like you gotta have that understanding. Exactly. With you. Well, let's let's put dating, it like this. If you can say, okay, we're dating. I don't want you dating anybody else. But no, we're not in a relationship right now. Okay, y'all have that establishment. But if you're dating somebody and you're willing to weigh your other options, you can do that. Now, dating now, maybe it's the Taurus in me. You know, you feel me? Maybe it's the Taurus in me. But loyalty is like a big factor to me. That's it's a big, it's a big factor to me. But it's look, I don't have a situation. You can be dating other people and not and not having sex with those other people, just having sex with one person. But how am you I supposed me? to know that? But I had a situation with a girl where we agreed to date and we knew we was you know See messing with other people, people mm-hmm. but. When it came to exactly. when she encountered another female that I was dating, the tone changed. So it's like even though she did a, we we did agree, she still carried it. You're a still gonna way. feel that type of way. Yeah. This is what I'm. This is what I'm saying. Like you have to understand, especially where we live at right now and what type of time we're living in. Everybody posts everything on social media. So if I'm out with you and we're out on a date and I feel as though I want to go ahead and like record that we out on a date type thing and I post it, then my homeboy come to me and tell me, oh, you know, the girl that you had just took on a date. Tell me why I just seen her on my niggas page. What you mean? You just seen her on your niggas page. Like what? You sending me a video. Now, how does that make me look stupid? Oh, you just did. Oh, but, 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 what? What do you mean? I look crazy. Exactly. I look crazy. So it's just like, bro, you got to understand we live in a small world. And this world is like getting smaller because of the simple fact that we have access 
to other parts in the world with being in one place. So it's just like, and like I said, maybe it's just the loyalty in me, but you owe me loyalty from the jump. I don't care. Once I say I'm interested in you and you show interest in me and I tell you how it is with me, you owe me loyalty from the jump. And if you don't show that to me, then uh, you can go ahead. <laughs> the door. Huh, nigga, you can dip, dip, head ass. I'm not playing. That's crazy. That's you pulling the song. Oh, God. Pulling the song. I don't know. I don't know how to <laughs> But. Let her, let her say her relationship. Go ahead. Huh? Your relationship. That go ahead. Tell wrong. me. What you was wrong. What you was wrong. Where man. you could have done better. You was dead wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I just feel like. Here we go. She when about was, to she about to give a lazy answer because she don't want to really answer. Take, go ahead, answer the question. Take credit, man. Take accountability. Man up. Say with your chest. <laughs> I'm cheating. <laughs> you just said that where I went wrong, guys. I feel like, like I said, you have to know yourself before you get in a relationship. I went from one day to another. And I didn't give my time, myself time to actually heal. And I tolerated a lot that I shouldn't have. And not knowing myself and knowing it was wrong, I stayed. You feel me? And. <laughs> also uh, an important part like yes take accountability but still hold them accountable for what they did in reaction or what caused that reaction out of you you feel me so i just want to thank everybody for watching for listening i want to thank nia for coming on the show i'm pretty sure her phone died because she's not on the screen anymore but I definitely want to give a shout out to her for thank for coming on the show and basically putting in her two cents. But make sure y'all follow, like, subscribe, share, tell your grandma, tell your grandmama's grandma. Go ahead and send everybody the link. And yeah, make sure y'all check out the new song on the way. Follow me on Instagram. Follow the network. Follow it all. You know, you got to keep in the loop. You got to know when I'm coming out next. I'll probably invite you to the next podcast. You never know. But... Thank you so much for joining, and we out. Cause nigga, you can do